Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and O2, and today we're going to look at some whole home Wi Fi. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so we're out in the garden at the moment. Now, this is uh, I'm up by the shed, so there's a shed in the background, and in the background of the shot, you can just like make it out up over there is our house. So at the moment, I'm probably a good, I don't know. 50, 60 foot away from the house, maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less. I've not measured it, so I don't know. So I'm recording this actually on my phone, Wi-Fi analyzer, so hopefully it'll pop up here or there. You can see how good the Wi-Fi is where I go in the house. So let's go on a tour and we'll have a walk around and see how good the Wi-Fi is around the house and then I'll tell you how I've achieved it. Let's go. Now this is my first time walking around handheld with this uh, Lumix G7 camera, so if it's going badly, I do apologise, but you'll get the idea. So we've walked down the garden. This is the uh, kind of patio area. Sorry if you feel a bit sick now. <laughs> so let's go in the house and hopefully the Wi-Fi is still uh, is still doing strong. Now on my Wi-Fi analyzer, there are actually three networks in the home, all called Churchill, and it's all provided by the Tenda MW3 wireless system. So at the moment we're in the kitchen, as you can see, if you look out the window, there's the garden, we just walked down the path. So at the moment we're in the kitchen and I think my Wi-Fi switched over. So yeah, at the moment the Churchill network's looking good here. Now at the moment above me directly is George's room and that is where one of the tender units is positioned. So this is the kind of the back of the house. So let's walk a bit further through. Now this bit you may have seen already before if you're a, a viewer of the channel. This is where we do the filming normally, our kind of studio setup. It's a little bit dark in here at the moment because we haven't got our uh, lights and stuff on, but you get the general idea. So this is pretty much the, the middle of the house. And there's a happy coincidence, there's the tender box on display. So back out of that room, this is the, uh, the hallway now. And we go into the front room. Now this is where all the magic happens for the internet anyway. So in the corner of the room where the uh, the broadband comes in, so if you look out the window, you can see that's the outside street, there's the car, etc. So the broadband comes in in the corner over here, is then piped in to this unit, well, around this unit. So this is the, like, the TV unit, we've got the PC, the PlayStation, all that kind of stuff. And you've got the, uh, the Xiaomi camera, which is all connected as well. So I'll just show you a close up now of what is actually behind the TV so you can get an idea of what's going on. So you've got the Gigabit Hub, 8 port hub. There's the Hive Active. And underneath that is another one of the Tender units. And down there at the bottom, you can just about make out is my broadband modem. So that is in modem mode. The only thing coming out of the TeleWest box or Virgin Media box is the internet signal which goes into the Tender MW3 and then that then becomes the router and Wi-Fi distribution. There's a cable going from the modem into that unit and then from that unit there's another LAN cable which goes into the hub which I showed you. So then that distributes the wired signal around the house. So in this room there's a few Wi-Fi powered devices. So we've got a Wi-Fi plug behind there. We've also got the, the Hive bulbs, which will run off that Hive system. Uh, what else have we got? I think that's probably about it in here for Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi in this room is actually generally good because the that's where the modem was originally, but it wasn't great for the rest of the house, obviously because of the position. We're right at the front of the house, so the back of the house didn't stand a chance. Now from that wall socket or from that hub, there's cables going out the wall, then they go up the drain pipe, through the roof, and to the other side of the house, which is what I've used to use as a back hole, or back hall, however you pronounce it, a back hole for the Wi-Fi and for the uh, Ethernet to the MW hubs. So let's take a look and see where the other hubs are. So again, you get an idea. That's the front door. There's a mirror, there's me filming myself. And actually, while you're at it, there's the, uh, the Hive heating, which again is all connected up to the smart home, which really wouldn't be possible without this tender unit. Well, it would be, but it'd be a lot more hassle. So, going upstairs, 
So, kind of middle of the house now. Let's put this camera down. So let's have a look, Wi-Fi analyzer. So at the moment we're sort of dead central in the house, so we've got coverage for pretty much all of the network. So as you see, they're pretty much balanced out, still getting a really strong signal on the uh, the various Churchill boxes. Now actually in the Tender app, they are named as individual boxes. So one is called um, Churchill a living room, one's called George and one's called Angel because of the rooms where these devices are. So let's, uh, let's dare to go slightly into George's room and have a look and see where that's positioned. So you get an idea of what's going on. So that's the back garden again, out of George's window and there just about down there, you can just about make out, there is the other unit. So I've got an ethernet cable coming out through the ceiling. Oh, this is terribly dark, you can't see that. But basically there's a ethernet cable coming out from the ceiling, which goes all the way across all the loft area, comes down into there and plugs in for a wired connection. Now we don't really need to use that, but it's there, so I do make use of it. But the Wi-Fi is fantastic, especially in this area. Now that, that little room there, that's the toilet, so you've got some good Wi-Fi when you're on the toilet, so when you're catching up on your Facebook feed or whatever it may be, you can uh, check it, no problem. Now, Kath used to have a real problem with her iPhone, because the previous network we had, had three individual switches and hubs and stuff, and there was Churchill, Churchill Middle and Churchill Rear for the Wi-Fi, and it was an absolute pain, and iPhones are pretty notorious for not switching over quick, which is another thing the Tender unit has, in the app, there's actually a section for fast Wi-Fi roaming or fast switchover. So if you're walking through the house and you're maybe on the phone, a Skype call or whatever it may be, or Discord or something like that, then you can walk around the house and you can stay connected all the way around, which is great. Okay, so uh, this is, oh, I don't want to go in here either. This is Angel's room. So over in the corner of her room is a plugged in tender unit which is just a standalone, there's no cables going to it whatsoever, apart from just the power cable to power the box. So that is picking up the signal from the tender in the front of the house, also back, backed up by the signal from the one in George's room. So because that's dead central, that one kind of has, a, again, a really good signal, as you can see from the Wi-Fi analyzer at the moment. Um, yeah, still really good signal. So let's go to my bedroom, or mine and Cap's bedroom. So this is our bedroom, you see we've, uh, we actually did a few videos here, probably in the early days, you may or may not have seen them. But over in the corner, on that display unit, there is the salt lamp and the uh, oil diffuser and the Google Home. So that's all powered from the Wi-Fi, but if for any reason the downstairs one isn't in range, it picks up from the one in Angel's room and it covers it all really well. So that is pretty much a tour of the house and where all the cables go and all that kind of stuff. So if you kind of look at the ceiling, you can imagine there's cables running through there to power up the rest of the system. But essentially we've managed to get an entire house of Wi-Fi, which works well and works pretty much 100% uh, of the time for a really, really low cost. So we're looking round about 60 pounds for the tender units and probably about 20, 30 pounds worth of cabling, connections, all that kind of stuff for the, uh, the actual wired connections, which weren't really necessary. You could probably just get away with just the 10 units on their own and make do with those. So that's been a, a quick tour of the home and how it all works, how our Wi-Fi works. Hopefully this has been useful to you to see how good the tender is in the home and see what the Wi-Fi strength is like. Obviously we showed you out in the back garden, good 60 foot that way. We could probably go out into the big wide bad world and check out over there as well. Uh, again, I I've, I've generally get a signal when I'm across the road. So as I'm kind of coming into the driveway in the car, all the notifications start coming in. Anyway, I'm digressing now. Oh, I said I'm gonna say that again. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been my home network and hopefully it's been of some interest to you. Thanks for watching.